go over that. All right. Yeah. All right. So the first article is about new eugenics, and the question that the article proposes is that do we, as a species, still want to have babies with um, disabil genetic disabilities? So. Um, morally, we need to understand that there's a line we need to draw where, you know, ethics really come to play in this, where I think that life <laughs> life and versus death is where the line should be drawn, where, you know, we can prevent people from taking advantage of the new technology that we have, from them, you know, creating their own baby, like changing the hair, making them more stylish or... I mean, more athletic or smart, so that's what we're trying to prevent. But we still want to be able to save lives and, you know, keep people healthy. Also, also in, in the article, it talks about a person named William, not William, Je Jeffrey Shakespeare, where he's talking about, like, he was born with achondroplasia, and he was wondering, like, if, if that was taken away from him, would that, like, ruin his identity? So it also comes to play where... Are you just enhancing the child to make him a perfect child, or are you actually trying to help him lose a disability? Okay, so going off of what they said, there's a different article about a different controversy, um, whether or not it's okay to pay women for donating eggs to stem cell research. So the um, procedure for fertility treatment is really expensive and women have the opportunity to get that procedure for half price if they are willing to donate their eggs. And um, to do that, there's a 40 to 56 hour inconvenience just of their time to have to do that. So people have decided to pay them, but people have also brought up, is it right to pay for a donation? And we all know how males donate. But for females, it's not just like going into a room and locking the door, it's actually a going into an OR and having a procedure. It's something where it's not just kind of showing up. It's a lot more in-depth than just 40 or 56 hours of waiting around an office somewhere. Now there's three different um, options that we have for what can happen. And the first one is that there's no payment whatsoever. And that's good and bad. One of the good reasons is that you are only doing it for the right reasons. So you get no payment whatsoever. But you, the only reason we can think of that you would do this is if you're doing it for a friend or something like that. And some of the bad things about that is just that no one will really want to have the procedure if they're not being compensated for the time and effort and all the things that they lost. Now the second option is compensation for a donation. And this is where you're basically being paid back for whatever you give. So all the hours that you have to leave work, all the hours that you're away from whatever you're trying to do, that's when you're just being paid back for that. And again, this is good because it's worth the time that you're giving and you just break even. So there's no real harm or benefit. It just depends on if you really want to do it or not. But something that could possibly go wrong with that is that women, might, women who are impoverished might want to do it for the wrong reasons, like just for the money. But since it's more of a break even kind of thing, there would be less of that. And also, maybe not as many people want to go through with the donation and the procedure if they aren't getting over -compensated. And the last option is if you're paid past the level of compensation, this is what our article was mainly talking about. If you get paid not just to compensate you, but to actually pay you for donating your eggs, that's where it gets to uh, be people doing it really for the wrong reasons. But possibly it can still be good because women are getting paid, and they're also giving their eggs for stem cell research. So is that really a good thing? Yeah, it might. Like, this option isn't the best one just because, like, um women would be more enticed by the money other than the science of it and like people have brought up that that might be immoral that they're deciding to donate just based on they're poor and they want money and they're afraid that only impoverished women will come to donate. Alright, the third article that our group was assigned has to do with cloning and morality around that. In 1997, Dolly the Sheep was cloned from four separate adult sheep, um, adult sheep and became the first cloned mammal in existence. She was born with, ne with a shortened lifespan and died soon afterwards, but it raises an interesting question about what the technology can provide for the human species. Um, since then, we've managed to clone um, other, an other mammals, rabbits, mice, even dogs. Not humans yet, but um, we have. At this point, we were able to clone genetically identical animals, like these five genetically identical piglets we cloned a few years back. Pigs are ideal for an organ bank. They, if some toying around with their genetics, they, we can possibly use cloned pigs 
to provide an endless source of organs for human use. Saving a lot of lives, eliminating the monumental wait lists for organs and many other things. Um, so, uh, pigs breed a lot more easily than um, other uh, mammals, so they're ideal for um, do uh, donating their internal organs for human use. And uh, some strengths for that are that um, you could actually give humans more um, organs, like easier and quicker, so that they could, um, they could live longer. But some um, weaknesses are that, um, that they might not fit all the time, and um, you might have to, they actually may be uh, potentially dangerous for the humans, and it could actually kill the humans faster uh, than before. So that's something bad that you don't want to happen. So they're still trying to like get it right and um, get it like fixed into each human, like genetically modified. And um, also another weakness is that um, sometimes when you're moving the uh, um, organ from the pig to the human, um, it could uh, it could draw in infections, and that could, when it goes into the body, that's bad for the body and uh, like the, um, so on. And um, yeah, so that's it. All right. All right. Nice job. Nice job.